In the last video, I showed how we could use curly braces for code blocks, and I kind of introduced it in the context of the if, but we didn't really describe exactly what these things are. As a general rule, it's helpful at times to be able to put a bunch of code together in a single block. Now, because Scala is a functional language, it turns out that code blocks in Scala are expressions, and they have the value of the last thing that's in them. So, four, five, six, close it off. Now I get some warnings here because Scala is able to tell us that the line with four and five don't actually do anything. Okay? And so it, it gives us an error message saying, you sure you really wanna be doing this? It's kind of a dumb thing to do. But then the result of the whole thing is the six. And it doesn't matter what I have above there. Something that might be more meaningful would be print line giving back six, six. Now it executes the print line and then it has the six there. If I were going to have a longer expression, maybe I could use some of the input stuff that we talked about previously. If I'm gonna do that, I'll go ahead and import io.stdin.underscore and then print line, enter a number, val num equals, and I'm actually going to use read int here to get an integer value. And then I want to give back the value of whatever number is entered times two. So when I execute this, it says to enter a number, I will give it five, it doesn't print the five, but I typed in five, and you can see that the result here is 10. So this kind of shows why we might want to have the code block to group things together. And it's really significant for the if, because if, once again, age is greater than or equal to 21, if I wanted to do two things in here, uh, print line, old, and then give back a result. Now I'm not really using this at this point. Else, print line, young, get lost. So now you note that my if is both outputting something and giving us back a value. And if I want to do that, I have to have these curly braces. I have to have a code block because it turns out you can only put one expression inside of both the true side of the if and the false side of the if. It's worth noting that in the situation where an if is not being used as an expression, if, the, if I'm using it as a statement, I can leave off the else. So if I only wanna do something when it's true, I can say if whatever and then leave off the else. Now this leads us to a common bug that people put in, especially inside of a script. So vi if example dot scala print line, we'll go with our, keep running with our same example. How old are you? Except I'm gonna write this as a full nice script with input age equals read int. Since I'm going to do that, let's go ahead and import stdin dot underscore. And then I have my if. If age, I'm gonna flip this around just because if age is less than 21, let's do this val response equals if age is less than 21, and here I'm actually going to break things up a little bit. I'm gonna spread it across multiple lines. Um, get lost. Else, come in, print line, response. As we discussed before, it's always good to run your programs fairly frequently to make sure that they work. 
Uh, okay, and so if I enter my age, it tells me that I can come in, which is what we would expect. Notice that I didn't put any curly braces on this, and that's because I didn't have to. There was only one expression on both the if and the else. Uh, but the problem that we run into is if I decide that I need to add something more to this. So I wasn't certain what happened for some reason. I decided to add a print statement to help me figure out what's going on. So if I type in print line, actually this, this will be the really fun one. Print line age, let's go with age plus is too young. Yeah, because I just, I want to know that it got here. Well, what does this do? And one of the things you'll note, I've indented this, and this is because it's, it's good practice to whenever your code is kind of nested, and in the case of our ifs, this code is nested, I want to indent things. But in some ways, so it turns out Scala doesn't care about indentation. Scala only cares about the curly braces. Now, you'll notice here already we've got a warning because it said, hey, this come in isn't doing anything for us, which we might wonder about. We're like, wait, isn't that supposed to be what this returns? But just to illustrate this, so if I do 41, it says 41 is too young. Uh, and then it gives me the brackets. Uh, and since age is, and it, what if I type in, oh, okay, because I have this, I have a, I put the print on the wrong side there, so the logic doesn't follow. Let's go ahead and fix that. Is old enough. Just to make it clear. But it, what's interesting here, if I type in 18, this seems to work exactly like it was supposed to, other than the whole warning that I got. But if I type in 41, it's clear that something is going wrong. It says 41 is old enough, and then it gives me these open and closed parentheses, which is the one value of type unit. So for some reason, response was type unit. Where did that come from? Well, the warning is actually giving us the issue here. It's saying that this line isn't doing anything. And this is the problem of leaving off curly braces on your ifs. If you're going to have your if formatted this way, where you actually have multiple lines to it, you should always go ahead and put in the curly braces to start and stop things. And the reason for that is because if you add another statement above, remember there's only one statement or one expression that goes inside of the if. So this became the one thing inside of the if. And even though this was indented, it was not inside of the if. And so it was kind of deceiving. It looked like it was good, but it wasn't. So as a general rule, if you're gonna have your if take more than one line, go ahead and put curly braces. Even if you only have one expression in, in both the if and the else part of this, still go ahead and put curly braces if you're going to format it this way. If you have it on a single line, you can consider leaving off the curly braces. But otherwise, put the curly braces in so that you don't risk the chance of coming back later, editing it, and screwing things up in that way.